Okay, we're going to do a quick steering column lock functional test here on this 2003 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. First thing we want to do is enter the uh, well, back out here. We're going to go into the uh, body control module special functions, output control, miscellaneous test, and come down here. We have two tests, steering column lock functional test. This test requires you to jack up and support the front end so that the wheels are free and install a battery charger in the vehicle while you run through a series of tests. Next test is to run the steering column lock function or test where we can manually cycle the column lock unit. So we're going to hit enter. It says here to turn the key off. I have the key off. It says you must wait 8 seconds between unlock and lock soft key selections. That's if I select it to unlock the wheel, I have to wait eight seconds before I issue the lock command. So we'll hit enter. This screen that it lands you on is somewhat incomplete, and I, I want to scroll up two line items so that we can include the column lock state. It says ignition off, locked, column feedback, inactive, column lock, unlock A, column lock, unlock B. So we're going to, right now we're locked. We're going to hit unlock, and you can hear that actuator cycle, and now the wheel moves back and forth. If we go to lock, you heard the actuator, and cycle. If we watch the column feedback and lock, unlock A and B, you'll see those cycle. You will not see the ignition off locked state change. That will only change when the key is on. However, you cannot cycle the actuator on and off with the scan tool with the key on. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to unlock. You see the feedback says active. And then lock shows inactive. So just something to be aware of. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the key. And I'm going to turn the key on. You see it says ignition on, unlocked, column feedback active, and that's it. If we try to lock the column, you'll see just one of these actuators states change. You can also hear the relay change states and unlock. You do not see the column feedback change, you do not see the column lock state change, and you do not hear the actuator change. So I'm going to cycle the key off just to observe, observe uh, normal operation. Turn the key off. You see it says off, unlocked. Column feedback is active. It's still unlocked. As soon as I pull the key out, you're going to see key out state. And you heard the actuator work. And now it says ignition off locked, and the wheel is now locked. Key on, actuator works. Key out. You hear that activity, and now we're back in business. So that's basically it.